Welcome to YoungHollywood.com. Hey everyone, it's Michelle Marie with Young Hollywood. We are here at Chalice Studios in Hollywood where we're going to give you an exclusive in-studio session with super producer J.R. Rodham. Can we see maybe like a process on how you make, sure. you know, how you make the music? And I know we have something here with Jason Derulo you can show us? Yeah. Okay. Um, basically, you know, the session that I have up um, is Jason Derulo's next single um, called What If. It's going to be following writing solo. Um, and we're really excited about this song because it's um, what we consider to be kind of more in a timeless piano ballad kind of genre as opposed to a dance one. The basic process of how What If was created. Okay. Um, it started off, as I told you, with me probably at home on my grand piano. So I started playing this chord progression. Basically, I'd probably play that piano in and then I'd loop it. And then I would try to create a track around it. Um, I knew that I wanted it to sound somewhat organic, not overproduced, and more um, not really synthy textures, but rather real instruments because mm -hmm. it was a, so I knew I wanted to have a realistic sounding bass, drums that sounded more like a real drummer as opposed to program drums, and strings. I wanted it to kind of have a timeless thing. So I basically kind of built the most of most of what you hear. I, I built the track, okay. and then um, you know, and I thought of it as kind of a foundation for somebody hopefully to write you know a heartfelt song to. That was that was that was kind of my original. It kind of sounded like a Rihanna song to me. Did it you think about her for that? I probably at the time, you know, I, I did better in time for Leona Lewis, which was a kind of yeah. a piano ballad. So I think I was probably thinking sim along those lines. I, maybe at that time I did think, you know, this is maybe a ballad for a female pop kind of thing. But I played it for Jason and um, and just the, the way that he was immediately connected to it. You know, obviously Jason was more of a priority to me than outside artists because he was my artist. We were making, you know, the album. JR had made this beat and uh, he called me and was like, hey, come and check this beat out he was like I, I don't know if I don't know if it's for you I don't know like really what it is but I think it's right. really cool and I heard it and I fell in love with it and I was like wow this is incredible I basically gave him you know a version of that he locked himself in a room and you know basically wrote the majority of the song he did. yeah he really did and um, and then you know he probably laid a scratch and then uh, we were all very inspired by it probably made a few changes said you know hey let's you know strengthen this or that and then ended up cutting the vocals with him you know the song is really special because it talks about the beauty of the world you know the beauty of the world is not knowing what's on the horizon not knowing what's you know when the end of something is is on the horizon or the, or the beginning of something is there so um, you know it's saying what if we are meant to be this is J.R. Rodham I want to thank Young Hollywood for taking a tour in my studio and um, checking me out.